So for this project, I decided I was going to make a flower called corn flowers. I think they're also known as bachelor buttons. And I didn't have any blue stained glass, but I had some real thin blue tumbled glass that I decided to use and to nip into these one half to one inch long pieces. And this is what they look like. They're kind of pointy at both ends and can stand up on their sides. So I went ahead and I nipped up a whole bunch of these and I started to form them into flowers. So what I'm going to be using for this is something called UV resin, which sets within one to two minutes. So I formed them into uh, the shape of a flower. I used 12 pieces for the bottom row and then I went ahead and I took J Diction UV resin and I squirted it all the way around the inside perimeter of the flower. And then I went ahead and I set the UV light on top of it and this will fuse all the pieces together. And um, one to two minutes will do it. And usually what I do is I do one minute, then flip it over and do the other side. So then I start adding pieces for the second layer. And I just put one, hold one piece on, drip some of the UV resin on it, put the light on. And after about 30 seconds, it will hold in that position. And I just keep on turning the flower and adding one piece in a, at a time all the way around the perimeter until the second layer is complete and um, it's really easy to do uh, I am wearing a mask when you put um, the heat on the UV resin it emits this smell that really bothers my sinuses and I didn't see anything on the container that said anything about no VOCs, which would mean no dangerous chemicals. So I'm assuming that there is. So I am wearing a respirator. I don't have gloves on my hand just because I'm just touching the end of the glass and the U I am not touching the UV resin at all. So here's the second layer done, and now I'm starting on the third layer. Again, one piece of glass. I put a little UV resin on it, and then I go ahead and I put the UV light over it. And again, I repeat the same process as I did for the second layer. One piece of glass at a time, a little bit of the UV resin, and um, then the UV light. And usually it takes about 30 seconds, and you can let go of it and start with the next one. And so here I go all the way around. And I don't know if any of you have worked with UV resin before, but it's um, pretty easy to work with. So this is what it looks like with all three layers. It looks really pretty. And you would never be able to balance that many pieces of glass and then pour regular resin over the top. So next I take this uh, tape that they use with UV resin and I just snip off a little piece and I take it and I place it against the bottom of it. And I'm doing this so that the resin doesn't leak out. So inside the center, I'm going to fill, I'm going to put some little beads on the very top, but I want to, I'm just filling it with some beads that you're not really going to see just so I don't have to use as much resin. And then I'm going to pour a little bit of UV resin in there and uh, put three of the colored beads, the real pretty blue beads that I want at the very top and uh, fill it with resin and put the UV light on it. Now UV light, um, the UV light cannot penetrate through opaque surfaces. So you have to, um, I have to do it on one side and then I also have to flip the flower over and use the light on the so other side. So here I am just taking the tape off the back and laying it upside down and then putting the UV light on it. And I believe I put it on this for about two minutes. The light, when you click it once, it'll stay on for a minute and then you have to click it again to get it to stay for another minute. And then it's pretty much set up. So next I'm making buds. And what I did was I laid the glass out like that and then I took the UV resin and covered part of it so that it all could be fused together. And then I took the UV light and put it over 
each of them for one to two minutes each side. And then I went ahead and flipped them over and did the other side for one to two minutes each. So once the first layer of the bud is done, you proceed just like you did with the big flowers. You take one piece of glass at a time, you put a little bit of the UV resin on, and then you put the light on it. And again, the same thing. Another piece of glass, a little bit of the UV resin, and the light on it until you have the whole bud done. And I think I only ended up putting four additional pieces of glass on it. It's real easy to do. So if you look at this picture of a cornflower, you see how at the stem, where the flower meets the stem, there's the bud that's still kind of there and it's rounded. And what I'm trying to do with these pieces of stained glass is create these the bud that sits under the flower. So I go ahead and I cut them in strips and then I cut some rounded pieces. And then <clears throat> I have to go ahead and take it out to the sander and sand them so that they're round like uh, the bud in the picture. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but they um, end up flat on one side and kind of rounded at the very top. So for this project, I used a 10 by 22 inch frame. And although I did not film the actual frame being prepared, I prepare all my frames the same. I flip them over, I take the clips out, I take the backing out, I remove the glass and clean it up. And then I take Elmer's glue and I put it around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the glass would sit. Then I replace the glass and I take Elmer's glue one more time and put it around the perimeter. And this serves two purposes. It helps to hold the glass in place and it also helps to prevent resin leaks. You'll also notice on the back of this, after this dries for 24 hours, I take painter's tape and I put it around the perimeter of the back, which you can see in this picture. So after I have all my glass, I um, start assembling the project. And of course, I have to mess around with these um, <clears throat> stems for a while. These stems were stems that I had previously cut and tumbled in my MJR tumbler for, I don't know, a, couple, a few hours. And uh, they came out smooth. Now, just to note, I did not tumble the glass that I nipped, the blue glass but you could easily throw that into the tumbler for a couple hours to um, sand down the edges and then they wouldn't have been sharp. But I don't know if I just wasn't, um, I was kind of impatient when I was making them and I wanted to get going because I, I thought I had such a good idea. I wanted to see how they'd turn out and then I didn't stop. I just kept on making them and making them. I actually ended up making about eight of the flowers. I don't know what I'll use them for, but um, Anyway, like I said, you could easily tumble the blue glass also if you didn't want it sharp, and it is sharp. So this entire assembly of this project here, um, once I had all the pieces, probably took a good 40 minutes because, um, like I said, I had to kind of cut the stems down to certain sizes in these offshoots with the little buds coming off of them or the flowers coming off of them. Uh, I had to nip those and kind of fit those in and some of them I actually took out to the sander because I used the nippers and it was a little bit rough on the edges and so I actually sanded it down so it fit better up against each of the stems and I just you know messed around with it for uh, like I said about 40 minutes until I was really satisfied with what I had there. Then once I had it the way I wanted it, I started sprinkling some green. It's kind of a greenish yellow glass at the bottom. And this is actually glass that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes if you go back in their vase filler section, they'll have little stones, rocks, and glass. And then I sprinkled a little of this mosaic glass that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby, which is a darker green, just over the top of it to give it a little... Um, extra detail. And just when I thought it was done, I decided it needed some leaves down at the bottom. So I stuck a 
cut and stuck a few leaves down at the very bottom with some stained glass that I already had. I just felt like it needed to be filled in a little bit more down at the very bottom of the project. And next it was ready for resin. So I have changed my resin over to Jade Diction resin um, just because I had seen a video from Steve McDonald that showed it was the least likely to yellow from UV rays. And although I only have two projects that sit actually sit outside in indirect sunlight, most everything's in the house, you know, I just felt that this would protect it the most from yellowing. So JD resin is what I'm using now. And as if you and if you notice, it's a little has a little bit of a blue tint to it, so it's kind of um, neat. But it doesn't look blue, you know, when it um, sets up. So this resin does not say hardener and resin on it. Instead, it just says A and part A and part B, and you mix them together, um, equal parts, just like you do many other resins, and you mix it slowly. Now I have this sped up, so. It looks like I'm mixing it fast, but I'm not. But you mix it from three to five minutes until you don't see any um, swirls or cloudiness in it anymore. And this doesn't really cloud up as much as um, the other resins that I've used. So I just go ahead and I drizzle it over the little pieces of glass first. And I'm just going up and around the corners because, as I've said before, you really have to manipulate this resin and push it into the corners and along the edges and in the areas that you want it to go because it will not go there on its own. Um, sometimes if you heat it up a little bit, it'll thin it out and it might flatten out more. I know they say it's self-leveling, but I, I'm not really sure what that means because you do have to push it around and you do have to make sure every area is covered. And I am drizzling the resin over the big flowers and the little flowers too because I want them to be nice and shiny. Uh, the UV resin that I put over it made um, some areas of it shiny. So I wanted to make sure it all was covered and it looked the same. Because you won't be able to tell the difference between the UV resin and this resin when it's all set up. And um, so I'm using this little tool and just kind of smoothing it out. And I do try to get the resin over all of the glass, the stained glass stems that I have there and everything. And what I typically use is a little to toothpick to move the glass around if it moves out of place. And I feel like that works out best. Now, one thing that I did notice, although this doesn't have a lot of bubbles in it, uh, in my last video, I think I had compared it to the art resin and art resin had a lot of bubbles. Um, now, art resin, the bubbles very easily came out with my little kitchen torch, whereas some of these bubbles in this, even though there's few, they're very, very stubborn. And, um, I mean, I had to go back multiple times trying to get those uh, bubbles out of there. They're just very stubborn bubbles. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about them. But anyway, um, when you're doing resin, you really need to get down eye level with it and look to make sure there's not any sediment or hairs or areas that are thin or don't have coverage. And then here I'm using a baby wipe to wipe off the resin that I have dripped along the side. And a lot of times I'll also use um, some rubbing alcohol, but you have to be careful with the frames because sometimes the rubbing alcohol will take the paint off of the frames. And here I am with the kitchen torch. You have to make sure you just go fast over it. Don't hold it in one place for any period of time. You can burn the resin and it can cause... Um, bunch of fumes. Now this um, J Diction resin is has no VOCs but you'll see I'm wearing a respirator because um, for some reason all resin bothers my nose and I just feel like um, it's it's safer unless you're really doing it outside. If you're doing it totally outside uh, maybe you don't need to but I'm in a closed room. I uh, try to open a window but um, I just feel safer this way. So this needs to sit on a flat level surface overnight. This J Diction resin actually says you can demold it if it was in a mold after four hours and then it takes uh, 24 hours to totally uh, set up. But um, it really doesn't give you a temperature setting what temperature it needs to be at. So I'm going to have to look into that further.
Hey everyone, didn't that turn out pretty? I just love it. And look at it, can you see it from the side how it stands out? Up, oh, I think it's so pretty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so when I was making these, um, you know, I came up with the idea and I thought, well, I had done some other three-dimensional flowers, but I did it with regular resin. But this way, I mean, you don't have to wait. You just stick it on there and it stays. And um, I got so excited when I was doing it, I forgot to tumble this glass because if you do, uh, nip up all your glass and then throw it in the tumbler for about an hour, I'm sure it will take all of the um, sharp edges off. So anyway, <laughs> I got so excited making it. I made eight flowers. I didn't even know what I was gonna do with them yet. And then of course I ended up putting them in this, I think it looks best in this long thin frame because the, um, the corn flowers have real long stalks on them, I guess. And so anyway, um, anyway, so, so yeah, I ended up with eight flowers and uh, a bunch of these little uh, buds like that. And um, I just love the way that it turned out. I'm gonna be trying to do some other um, three-dimensional flowers like that uh, in the future too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you um, want to be notified of future videos or just like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.